Another coup for Android owners. You can now enjoy all the quality programming ITV has to offer on your phone, whilst those iPhone owners are stuck on the sofa to enjoy the likes of Coronation Street and Loose Women. Navigation is simple in that you can browse by what's popular, by channel, via the A to Z list, or even search for a specific program, which helpfully suggests some programs as you type in what you're looking for. The program page tells you the length of the show and how long you've got left to watch it, and then you just press play. At this point, you'll want to rotate the phone to take advantage of the screen, unless you're a fan of massive black bars. You'll see from the bottom bar here that there's quite a few advert breaks, signified by the blue bits, and they're generally at least three adverts long, which can get tiresome. Still, it's a free app, so you can't complain too much, dear internet. Two days of summer and the nation's gone a little sun crazy. It's almost as if we don't believe it'll stick around for long. Luckily, I've been on the hunt for apps that'll get you out and about whilst there's sun to be had. Walk Explorer figures out where you are and then suggests loads and loads of walks, complete with the distance you are from the start point and the total kilometres. Some are free and some you have to pay for, although £2.99 walks do seem a little steep. You can browse the route before making the purchasing decision, and once you've downloaded it, it falls into the My Walks section. From here, you can get written instructions with photos, as well as interesting facts about the area you're walking around. Hit the Maps button and you'll see the red dot where you should be, and the green dots which signify the other points of interest on the walk. Finally, the nearby wiki will pull in pages from Wikipedia about the area you're in, to further enhance your local knowledge. All in all, it looks like a delightful way to spend a weekend, weather permitting. I have recently had an Apple TV come into my possession, and it's quickly become an obsession. I've been on the lookout for an app that allows me to watch non-iTunes friendly video on my TV, and thanks to the wonder of Twitter recommendations, I found just the thing. Air Video will convert practically any file format into something you can either watch on your iPhone or iPad, or thanks to the magic of AirPlay, send to your TV for watching there. It involves installing some software on your computer that has the files on, which then allows you to connect your iPad and your computer. On the computer, you nominate which folders you want access to, and they become viewable on your iPad. Pick a file and you can either view it straight off, or convert it into something viewable whilst you're watching it. This works incredibly well. I was converting MKV files to MP4s with no lag or drop in quality. And then just hit the AirPlay icon to get it streaming to your telly. You have to remember to set your iPad or iPhone to never auto-lock though, as this will cause the video to stop. The free version is more than adequate, although restricts the number of videos you can see in a folder. Even at £1.79, it's a very cheap app, considering the fact that it will totally change your life. The Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc does loads of stuff. It's a lovely looking phone running Android Gingerbread with a decent camera packing an Exmor sensor and 8 megapixels. But what's interesting from a fraculous point of view is the fact that they've tried to make the Facebook app almost surplus to requirements by integrating it into the phone itself. You'll find on the home screen your Facebook and Twitter friend status updates, and in contacts, all Facebook photos have been added to your friends. Scrolling through a contact's info, you can see their latest photos, interests, and status updates. You'll also find that if you go into your calendar, your Facebook events and birthdays have been automatically added. Go into photos and you can see the photos you've uploaded to Facebook, as well as those on your phone and any likes and comments, both of which you can add to. Theoretically, there should be similar functionality to the music player, with the ability to like tracks you're playing and have them automatically post to Facebook, although this seems to be missing on this phone. What you can do is go to Media Discovery, which is where all the video and audio tracks your friends have been sharing are stored. Perfect if you've got 10 minutes to kill and a desire to find out what everyone's chatting about. So there you have it, Sony Ericsson's Facebook Inside, as seen on the Xperia Arc. Somewhat must-have-esque for Facebook fans. Remember when you used to have to pay for music and sat-navs and Kit-Kats? Well, thanks to Waze, one more of those is now free. Although it's not Kit-Kats, it can at least help you find one, or anything else for that matter. 
Waze promises to get you from A to B, giving you turn-by-turn -turn directions along the way, and even steering you around traffic and accidents. All for free. The app works by combining the info from the users driving around to map out the roads and send back traffic info so it can work out where the holdups are. There's even a layer of gamification thrown in for good measure. You tot up points along the way by driving along unconfirmed roads or reporting issues on your journey. You're relying on crowdsourced data, which means the major routes are covered, but you may find it less helpful off the beaten track. But it is free, and the more people you can get to use it, the better it gets. So go and use it. Want more? Go to www.fraculus.com forward slash follow for a glut of RSSE iTunesy podcasty subscription -y options. <coughs>